How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the best XM4 class setup in Black Ops Cold War. First and foremost, if you guys can hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos and make sure to also hit the like button so this video can reach other people looking for the same kind of content. Let's jump right into it. So right here we have the XM4, and as you can see, I'm going with eight attachments. So in order to add the eight attachments, you need to go down to the wild cards here and throw on Gunfighter. The XM4 is basically reliable. I believe I said that in the gameplay. This thing really hasn't been buffed or nerfed, but it is extremely viable in a lot of situations. Medium range, long range, and even close range. So that fire rate and recoil control pattern just makes it extremely forgiving. Let's get started here. I have the Microflex LED for the optic. For the muzzle, I'm going with the Infantry Compensator. As you can see, it gives you plus 15% here with only a minus five to your horizontal recoil control. For the barrel, I have the 13.7 inch Ranger to up the bullet velocity by 100%, bringing it to 1,314 meters per second. Absolutely insane there. Makes your bullets connect extremely quickly. And when you go back, you can see the effective damage range is 45 meters. Really, really good there. For the body, I have the SOF target designator to just make it a lot easier to see your target while aiming down the sights. For the underbarrel, you're going to want the field agent grip, that for vertical and horizontal recoil control. For the magazine, we have the Salvo 40 5 round fast mag. As you can see here, if you go with the 50 uh, normal 50 round mag there, you're losing 15% of your aim down sight speed. This is only 12 and you get the ability to reload quickly. For the handle, we have the airborne elastic scrap for the maximized aim down sight time. And then for the stock, the Raider pad that for the sprint to fire time and overall movement speed of the weapon. The XM4 is probably my third or fourth most used weapon in the game. Like I said, it's all reliable. It's not overpowered, but as far as being one of the best in the game, it definitely, definitely fits the bill. It just is the best in a lot of situations. There are a weapon that is better than every single category, but for all around, this thing can do the job at all ranges. Highly recommend you give it a go and let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. Got a new gameplay for you guys to watch, so I hope you guys enjoy. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am now partnered with Facebook Gaming. I will be posting exclusive Call of Duty content over there five days a week. So if you're looking for a few more class setups, a few more gameplays, anything, tips or tricks, make sure you guys head over there and drop me a follow. It'd be much appreciated. Got Apocalypse. I'm pretty tired, I'm going to be honest. My energy levels sound low. I apologize in advance. Just know I am doing my best to keep the vibes high my internet is bugging bro my internet's bugging dude there's kids shooting me twice and I'm getting like one shot like I shot that kid first I do not They like to come this way, I think. I have to watch my back. See? Alright. Maybe they'll stop coming this way and they'll start heading towards B a little bit, but I'm not thinking that's gonna be the case. Yeah, because they keep spawning right here, so they're gonna keep coming this way. Look at that little guy crouching. Him. I keep having to watch my back here. Kind of put me in a bad spot. He's right there in the corner. Losing Bravo. Okay. See, they keep coming this way. I want to. I want to push up towards B, but if I don't watch my back, then they're going to continue to push through. There's still another one there. See what I mean? You know, my team doesn't have a UAV, so I'm gonna... He's right here. Another one. Harp. Bravo. 
There we go. I don't know where they're spawning. Right. I don't think they should still spawn here. I don't think so. You're right there. We're losing B. Probably behind. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Teammates got him. Uh, my team's still at C, so I don't know if I'm supposed to push up here? Or maybe just hang out? I'm not entirely sure. I'm supposed to be looking, because I'm going to get shot in the back. I already know it. Like, do I push C side? Or do I not? Can I aim my gun? He's running around on B. That was a good grenade throw, though, okay. Kim. There we go. UAV, that should help. Teammate, you scared me. I'm playing a little slow, but I don't want to choke. The milk god. It's weird as every. I feel like I, when I play Apocalypse, I always do pretty well. Well, you need one kill. We need one kill. Play it safe. Okay? We'll start pushing. All right, we need one kill. So I'm gonna actually jump the flag and kind of play around my team in a way. Uh, so I'm assuming they're gonna go to B flag right after we get A here. So we'll just play around it. The teammates is push little tacos pushing up here. Little oh, he's going right here. He thinks. Uh oh, good grenade throw again, man. These kids are on it with the frags. I just got this feeling he's gonna go right there. There he is. That's not even him. Another one. Wow. Okay. Good thing I got my nuke when I did. Time to get B. Win this game. Turn around and watch this way for a sec. Oh, teammates kind of clean it up over here. He is there. Nice teammate. Let's get the flag, teammate. We got a UAV. They're spawning here. He's gonna go there. He didn't go there. He went here. Alright, we're gonna go this way. That was their frag. Another one. I'm teeing up right now. Oh my gosh. War machine hot. Ah. 
That would have been wild if I got a double nuke on Apocalypse low key. All right. We did just get a lot of kills pretty quickly. Right here. The sentry guns were shot at me. We can't let them have C team. Good stuff. I didn't even see him. Wow. Right, we're just going to hit the nuke. Teammate got him off B. How did my grenade not kill him? Interesting. By the way, we're getting that nuke called in. Get some kills on the board. And finish this game out with a bang. Let's keep going. 187. 77 kills on Apocalypse. Ain't bad. Veto. That's something I'll, I don't really understand. I don't know why people run that streak. I don't think it's that good. Briefly. I can't see anything, though. Who's shooting at me? Oh. 80 kills. I'll take that as a, a W. I'm going to be honest. 80 kills on Apocalypse is a W. That is... The XM4 Bag and Cold War. GG's. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.